Meanwhile, family businesses are an integral part of developing countries, and it's no different in Southeast Asia's largest economy, Indonesia. In fact, according to the latest list uh, released by WealthX, Indonesia's wealthiest billionaires all come from family-run firms. But keeping it all in the family can have its disadvantages. In the final installment of our family business series, Kiki Siragar reports from a plantation in western Indonesia. Surveying his empire from the clouds. This massive factory complex belongs entirely to the Tanoto family. With an estimated wealth of more than 2 billion US dollars, the Tanotos are amongst Indonesia's top 10 wealthiest families. And this is the young man in charge on the ground. Only 25 years old, Anderson Tanoto is a manager at April, a pop and paper company whose product is sold in more than 75 countries. U.S. educated, he's also the youngest son of the owner, Sukanto Tanoto. This man is a family business that has been handed down for two generations. And just like the wood that this company makes its profits from, the company relies on solid foundation. But working in a multi-generational team can bring its challenges. It's not easy, but it's, uh, our culture in our company is not only about tenure, but it's also having fresh ideas. So we always have to have mutual respect. So uh, the more senior people in our company have a lot of mutual respect for the younger people as well, and the younger generation and fresh ideas. Likewise, I think the younger generation in the company also needs to have mutual respect for the people that you're working with. But my father always told me, never forget how far we've come. And never forget how lucky you are, so you know how to appreciate where we come from. Anderson is the only son in his family business, but he hasn't let his fast-track career go to his head. You're no different than anyone else, yeah? And the, mo the day you feel the sense of entitlement, I think it's the day when it's the beginning of the decline, because everything you have, you need to work for and you're not entitled to anything. And I think this is the value that was imparted by my father that is still very close to the whole family. This is the nursery where the Tanoto family nurtures young saplings, growing the next generation of trees to replace those that have been lost. This business is firmly rooted in family values and says that's been the key to its success. Kiki Siragar, BBC News, Riau, Indonesia.